No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine's not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off his energy source, his food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an ass truck.
pressure in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightened, too. It'll be okay. They close the tunnel. There's no trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard. Is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines... It... But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need direct contact to transfer. It's using the phones! What do you mean, direct contact? Stephen?
This is Catherine Collins, recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... I just hope I can make it. You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes. It's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by and see your brother. Megan Holloway, give Not me... a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you star. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful.
Appleton. What are you doing here? You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. Listen, take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. At least every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Yeah, don't touch me. Get off. What's going on? Come in here. Lord. Get off. Get over Sam. us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. Sam, stop she's it. better than any of you. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg! Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't touch wait. me! Meg, please, you have to understand, it was an accident! Get off her! Let go, let's just go! Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident! Just leave him, leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please!